Hi, this is Bruce Sharp for Red Giant, and in this tutorial we'll see how to use Pluralize 3 with Avid Media Composer. Pluralize lets you quickly sync audio and video recordings without the need for timecode, clappers, or any special preparation. And starting with version 3.1, Pluralize now has support for Media Composer projects. Here we are in Media Composer, and we've already set up a project. This one is pretty simple for the purposes of this tutorial, but Pluralize can handle much more complex timelines than what we see here. There are two ways to bring media into Media Composer. With the original legacy way, you import clips and Media Composer transcodes them to a common MXF format. More recent versions of Media Composer provide an architecture called Avid Media Access, or AMA, and it lets you link directly to media in its native format, which is much quicker than transcoding. Pluralize supports both ways of working, importing and linking via AMA. Use whichever way suits your production. In this project, we have already added our media and laid it out in a sequence. There are two cameras and one external audio track. The clips are placed in the sequence at arbitrary times because we don't know when the cameras were turned on and off with respect to each other. Pluralize will figure that out for us. To use Pluralize, we select the sequence and export it to an AAF file. In the export settings, link to the media. Don't include it. If you are using AMA, be sure to check the box for AAF editing protocol. Now let's go to Pluralize. Go to the File menu and choose New Project from Media Composer. We browse to the location of the AAF file we just exported and choose that. When Pluralize is finished importing the media, we press the Synchronize button. You can see other tutorials on this website for details of the sync features of Pluralize. Now we want to get the synced information back to Media Composer. So we click the Export Timeline button and select the Media Composer option to generate an AAF file. Note that this option is only available when we start a project by importing from Media Composer. The export process just takes a second and the log confirms that it was successful and tells us where the AAF file has been created. We can right-click to show the AAF file in the Finder or copy its path to the clipboard. But the easiest way to import the synced AAF into Media Composer is to drag and drop from Pluralize into a bin in Media Composer. We can double-click on the synced sequence name to open it in a timeline. The clips are now placed in their synced locations and we are ready to start the creative editing process in Media Composer. That's the workflow for using Pluralize 3 with Avid Media Composer. Be sure to check out the other tutorials here on the site to learn more about how to use Pluralize 3 to speed up your post-production for all kinds of projects and workflows.